It's Monday, June 15th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Thousands of pro-Houthi protesters denounced Saudi-led airstrikes at a rally on Sunday in the Yemeni capital, Sana'a. Demonstrators carried models of missiles and posters showing the face of exiled President Hadi with an X through it. Supporters said they would not be deterred after more than two months of bombings against the country. Houthi forces and their allies also seized the capital of Al Jauf province on the border with Saudi Arabia on Sunday. It was an important victory for the group before UN-backed peace talks begin in Geneva this week. African migrants who were prevented from crossing the border into France continue to camp near the northern Italian town of Ventimiglia on Sunday. French police have been enforcing tougher immigration controls and blocking the border with Italy due to an influx of migrants. Local residents and Red Cross volunteers handed out food and supplies to those who were camped out on the rocks. The tougher French measures have resulted in a sharp rise of migrants gathering at Italian towns while they wait for the border controls to loosen up. Thousands of people marched in Hong Kong on Sunday, urging lawmakers to vote against election reforms proposed by politicians in Beijing. The proposals would allow Hong Kong residents to directly elect their officials for the first time, but also requires the screening of candidates by a panel of Beijing-friendly elites. The reform sparked huge street protests last fall when demonstrators occupied parts of the city for 11 weeks. Umbrellas and the color yellow were turned into symbols of the movement. A Palestinian engineer has developed locally made cement amid a severe shortage of construction material in the Gaza Strip. The cement is called Honest Mix and is made from a concoction of sand, plaster, iron filling and other materials that are readily available in Gaza. Israel severely restricts importing construction equipment into the heavily blockaded strip. They say the materials could be used by militants to conceal weapons arsenals and rebuild tunnels. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. This is the town of Kaisha Doris, which for today's uh, part of the exercise has been attacked by pro udian separatists who've taken over a government building in the main square here and also holding a protest.